raising 300 children. That sounds impossible, right? Wrong. I'm in a small town east of Adelaide called Karunda, and I'm off to meet a woman called Christine Pinniger who has done the impossible. She has been a foster mum for 29 years and she's still going strong. Damien, Roman, give me a hand, please. Oh, thank you. Just what I Since I've been here for six years, it's been good. I guess she makes me feel like her family's my family, even though my family's a different family. You are. Raymond isn't Christine's only long-term foster child. Some stay for years, but others, just a few weeks. So what are you going to have for tea? Uh, can we have pizza? Pizza. Oh, again? Yeah, Don't you like mum's cooking? Like many wonderful foster mums around the country, Christine takes in kids from troubled homes, from newborn babies to teenagers, and as her husband Wayne knows, each one is special. She often says I was brought up to look after other people's kids, as well as their own, of course. She's got this love inside of her, bounding love, and she just wants that for the kids, that's it. And that abounding love won her the Bernardo's South Australian Mother of the Year. To have had 300 children through her home is truly amazing. Nothing, nothing is too much trouble for Christine. She has a heart of gold. Zach is one of Christine's first foster children. She hasn't seen him since he was five. That's 24 years ago. Queen of the castle or princess? Queen. <laughs> Prince. These days, Zach is a devoted dad and Christine's influence is still rubbing off. Bringing my kids up, I remember some of the techniques that she used with me and yeah, I use it on my kids. She made me, made me feel yeah, wanted and loved and safe. Christine is obviously quite a lady with a huge heart and a huge amount of love to give. So we at Random Acts of Kindness have got a wee little surprise for her. And her husband Wayne is in on it. Hello? Ah, hello Christine. Hello. My name's Simone. I'm from Random Acts of Kindness. I've heard about all the work that you've done with fostering kids. Can I please come in and have a little chat? Mm, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> it's a bit of a surprise, huh? Oh. You have four kids of your own and then you fostered 300 children? Probably a bit more, yeah. Odd. I mean, four kids is a handful. <laughs> to have. Plus, then we adopted plus one, one adopted. I just felt that there were so many needy kids out there that they needed a, what home life is all about, you know? And um, I showed them what home life is about. Mm. So tell me, what, what are the best bits about fostering? The love that you get from the children. Yeah, they're all individuals and I, I just love them all. Mm. I still do. Hey okay, Christine, we think the work you do is, is very important and it's wonderful and we think you deserve a treat. So we at Random Acts of Kindness are going to take you away for a little holiday. Now I can't tell you where we're going, but I need you to go in there and I need you to pack your bags because we've got a car coming in about five minutes. If she doesn't wear it. <laughs> Here's your car. Thank you. OK, guys, well, I know you don't know where you're going, but your trusty driver, Paul, does. So sit back and relax, and I'll see you at the other end. OK. okay. We'll do. Thanks, Bye. Simon. Bye. Bye. See ya. She's not my real mum, but she's, she's mum to me, and yeah, always will be. And this is just the beginning of her whirlwind journey. What we've got in store will blow her away. She's deserving of everything she's about to receive and I wish her the very, very best. So here we are at the Hyatt. Now, I don't know if you guys know this, but this is the top hotel in Adelaide. Oh, can't it's exciting? It. No, I can't believe it. Are you ready? <gasps> oh, my God. Oh, God. This pair have been so busy raising kids, they've barely had a break in 30 years, let alone a fancy one. I can't believe it. I can't say anything. I'm speechless. Aww. 
Well, listen, I, I need you two to enjoy some quality alone time together. No kids, no chores. A wonderful Thank night. You. Coming up, what dream of a lifetime is coming true for Christine? God, don't cry. And later, Scott meets the saint of teenage girls in need. It wasn't a job, it was my heart and my passion.